The last thing we're going to do is we're going to apply an effect that will make our photo look like a painting. So first thing we need to do is get our move tool. So select the move tool on your tools panel or V on your keyboard. And if we click on filter, you'll notice that filter gallery is not available. This is because our image is 16 bits, which we can see here on our tab. So what I'm going to do is point to image mode and I want to change it from 16 bits to 8 bits. You can now see on the tab, the title tab, it says 8 bits. Now if I choose filter, I have the option for filter gallery. Okay, let's resize our image in our view area next to the 100% fit in view so I can see the whole image. And what I want to do is add a brush stroke. So on the bottom of my panel, I can click on what looks like the new layer icon. This is a new effect layer and I want to add a crosshatch. So you can see by default it added the accented edges. I'm going to click on crosshatch to change that. Our photo now starts to appear more like a painting. And I'm going to adjust the stroke length. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. I'm going to drag it to the left. And as we drag it to the left, you can see the strokes are getting short. I'm going to adjust the sharpness and bring it up just a little bit. Maybe to about 10. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave my strength at 1. Now, what's neat about this is inside the filter gallery, you can add as many of these as you want to. So by simply clicking on the new effect layer icon again, I now get a second version of crosshatch, which I actually want to make something else. But you can see how we can add more effects here. And then we have the delete option, so we could remove the effect if we don't like it, or we can change the one that's already highlighted. So in this instance, we have crosshatch highlighted, the second one we've just added, so it's at the top of stacking order. And we want to go to texture. I'm going to click on the expand arrow, and I'm going to choose texturizer. Texturizer gives me some options to make my texture appear more to be a canvas. If I click on the drop down menu next to texture, I can choose burlap. I can make it look like a brick. And finally, I can make it look like sandstone. So I'm trying to get a painting look, so I'm going to actually leave mine on canvas. And to the right here, you get a little panels menu. If you click on that, you can actually load textures. There may be some additional textures that come with Photoshop, and you can find these all over the internet at different places where you can download them and then load additional textures or create your own. So I've set mine to canvas, and I'm going to adjust my scaling. I'm going to bring it down a little bit to kind of make it more subtle, maybe down to 80. And I'm going to leave my relief at 4 and my lighting at the top. So you can play with these different adjustments. And another thing you want to notice is that Texturizer is the top of my stacking order with Crosshatch. If I reorder these and put Texturizer below Crosshatch, which kind of makes, you would think it would make more sense because then it would be the canvas behind the image, I'm going to reorder those. When I reorder those two effects, you'll notice that it changes the appearance of my image. And it actually looks better with Crosshatch below Texturizer. So I'm going to put that back. So I like the effect that I've created. It looks more like a painting with the crosshatch technique. And another thing you'll notice is that when you're working with these different things in Photoshop, the terminology matches to the techniques that are actually used in painting. So crosshatch is when you're painting strokes with little X's to create your effect. And then of course our texturizer, we saw that that'll actually change the, what it looks like you're painting on, in this case the canvas. I'm going to click OK and there's my final image. Now you may notice the building reflections in the water. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at how we can remove those.